Hello everyone and welcome to the Lay Throm channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody, Matt from the Lathrum channel. Today we're going to be covering a little bit of a question that I've been asked a few times in the past. And I heard quite a few times, well, you talk about, you know, Autodesk products, but you don't ever talk about anything else, you know, such as like SolidWorks for a great example. And the question that I've been asked on more than one occasion is, how do you import a SolidWorks file into 3D Studio Max? It's actually not that hard. So what we're going to do, you can see a hydraulic press right here. It's an assembly. Nothing much to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to open that bad boy up, or what, at least import it over into 3ds Max. So we're going to import. And I got to find that file, so... here solid works 3ds max um I'm gonna jack my uh, resolution up a little bit basically all I'm doing is I'm just saying import convert to mesh on Z up use groupings in as far as your hierarchy is concerned and I jacked my mesh res mesh resolution up to two instead of zero now i don't know if this is the same case for everybody else out there but i will forewarn you for me at least what 2014 to, you know well solidworks 2014 and using like 3ds max 2016 uh, i've noticed that i have to leave solidworks open i don't know if that's been remedied in the future or not We'll just sit here and wait now because it does have to do a lot of different things and it you don't necessarily need to have your model open in SOLIDWORKS, by the way. Let me let me put that out there. You can have just SOLIDWORKS open with nothing in it. It could be a blank screen, blank slate, everything. You don't have to have anything in it and it'll give you uh, the ability to still import things into good old 3DS Max. But as you could tell, it brought it over pretty simple, just like Inventor. No issues, no concerns, none of that jazz. And as you can kind of tell here, we still, uh, just trying to move this to the center and it's yelling at me. I'm able to keep my hierarchy. So if I wanted to get, uh, I believe that is an ascending. You know, it's one of those things where you could still open up this group, edit things or move things, however you see fit, and then, you know, close the group when you're done. Same principles as, you know, importing other things like inventor files, or you're importing stuff that's already been grouped, so on and so forth. Like I said, real easy. There's nothing really to it. But I'll just go over it one more quick time. Again, you don't have to have anything. So we'll just say new, leave this. Come on, new part. So, you know, there will be nothing here and I'll go ahead and close that. Don't save. Give me a new, don't save, new all. So as you can see over here, SolidWorks, there's absolutely nothing in the background. I only have one instance of SolidWorks open. There's nothing in there. Everything's pretty much plain Jane on both sides, SolidWorks and 3D Studio Max. Now I don't want to open. We're going to go back into import, select your assembly, hit open. Same thing, convert to mesh, we'll leave on. Z axis is going to be our up or Z if you're you know, from England or well, the UK or Australia. Uh, we're gonna leave our hierarchy of using groupings. That's a personal preference. If you wanna use you know layerings or if you wanna flatten it, that's up to you, that's your call. Mesh, resol mesh resolution. 
I'm going to leave it four or, or leave it two. You can change it to four. You can raise it, lower it, play with it, see what you really want. Go ahead, hit the import button, wait a little, uh, wait a little bit, and there you go. It's open. That's all you have to do to import a SolidWorks file into 3D Studio Max. But that's about it for me. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, you know, if maybe this isn't working for you or something, by all means, let me know. I'll try and find you an answer. And as always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.